Hi, it's me, Roger. Um, doing another video. Hadn't done one in a while, but anyway, I uh, wanted to cover something that's near and dear to my heart, and that is coffee. <clears throat> when the coffee maker is not working, um, the house shuts down. I know what these does for me, uh, the wife as well. So I have a backup coffee maker I have in the garage to pull out on occasions like that. But one of the things I found that I've researched a lot over was on the Ninja coffee bar system, which is this item right here. And what you'll find out is a common problem is it will shut off once you start um, hitting your button it'll start brewing for a few seconds and you'll get like five beeps and it'll shut down like it's um, not working like it's out of water or something but um, what I found was as I was going through that researching some different videos some different things um, it said that it can't get water because something's clogged up on the inside of the machine so what it suggested was actually making sure that valve in the bottom works by cleaning it out, pushing through it. But also, um, down inside here, it can't get enough water, so it can't heat anything up, so it shuts off. So what we did was we ran some vinegar through there, through the clean cycle. That really didn't seem to be helping anything. So um, had to, in as hard of water we have here in the DFW area, I had to pull out my favorite, which is... The old uh, CLR. Um, mix a little of that in your water right here and start running through it. Now, um, one of the things I've got that, you know, I'm not proud of doing, but um, I'll show you how I did it, which uh, most of you probably think your wives are better suited for this. But anyway, um, take, let me see if I can show myself, like you're blowing up a raft, get down here on this thing. Um, where the water goes into and blow on it. That starts blowing. Well, I didn't have anything under there, so great, Roger. So anyway, um, that starts blowing some stuff out. And once you start putting your CLR mixed with your water through there, you're going to start seeing all kinds of junk come through your filter. And you're going to have to do that for several, several cycles to get that through. And I mean, I probably ran 10 full pitchers of carafes through this. And each time I would sit there and blow through that thing, fill it back up, run it through with a little CLR. And I mean, I was still getting all kind of green looking crystals, calcium residue deposits and stuff like that. But um I was up till around 11.30 last night trying to get this fixed and I finally got it to cycle a good five or six carafes right straight through there each time and it really did well. So uh, hopefully this helps somebody out instead of trying to throw their Ninja coffee maker away, which we really like. So try that. Now what's going to happen is, is that your first couple times it's going to start shutting off. You're just going to have to just keep mashing the button right here. So it keeps pulling that water through there and that CLR to break up those lime and calcium deposits. So anyway, thanks everybody for tuning in. God bless.